it, it seems like the sneakers haven't really stopped, have they? Right? The drops, they haven't stopped. They haven't really. I think apart from the Travis Scott's um, Trail Air Max 270s, two, two whatever they were called, that came out recently, they're the only things that I can think of that will push back. Maybe, I can, no, maybe those um, furry dunks have been. There's been a couple of things pushed back, right, to a later date, but nothing like delayed until like September or next year. Everything has been pushed back a couple of months. But for the most part, sneaker releases have been dropping. Things have been popping out. They've been pumping them out. Brands have just been like, you know what? F that. Let's put an Instagram competition up. Let's send it to see the same 17 people we send our stuff to. And it gets us going, right? And it's been interesting to watch from the outside um, in general. Some stuff has been good. Some stuff has been bad. But, you know, it's been hit and miss here and there. But there's these two sneakers that I've kind of got my eye on. Well, let's say three, right? That I've kind of got my eye on. First of all, is the Jound... Um, new balances right they, i think this might be the third iteration of new balance shoes that he's done um and again might be my favorite of the 992 one of my favorite um, new balance models and this is from just fresh kicks it says jound unveiled a second signature colorway of the new balance 992 um let's see what it says in the text it says uh more 992 is coming this year and we should not be and we could not be more excited this week the canadian blog and design studio jound showed uh off their latest colorway which is a which coats the retro runner in the stunning shades of brown um so let's continue here we have two colorways right we've got this kind of i'm assuming a sand sort of colorway and one with a sort of like an olive gray upper um, they've got a bit of an update here from the 7th of the 10th. It says, although not the best quality, what appears to be an official images are coming down. The collaboration are below. Check them out below. And we'll be sure to update you guys once we get a date. So no date in place at the moment. But these are probably one of my favorite shoes I've seen so far that are due to come out. Like really beautiful design. Of course, 992s are, you know, synonymous with Steve Jobs and that whole sort of like normal core look or whatever that was popular a few years ago but they've sort of kind of gained a new life it feels like within the last couple of years they've become a bit of a staple in the whole like you know streetwear menswear sort of like people that stand and weird angles and do that thing with their feet kind of scene but just generally as a cool sneaker to wear i think they're really cool i think they're really comfortable they're really versatile um um and yeah if you want something that isn't too flashy like you look at especially look at this picture on the screen right we've got a picture of the new balance the jound the two colorways and on the sidebar we've got an announcement about these usually 350s in a zion colorway and we've got the off-white um jordan 4 women's and sale they're the complete opposite of those sort of shoes right they're not that showy um they're a bit understated um they probably would lend themselves to a more mature client customer it doesn't necessarily mean it's being an older person but just somebody that needs to you know if you don't you know if you're not up to wearing gr shoes from jd sports but you still want to have a bit of spat you know a bit of spice in what you wear and you know it'd be a little bit nice then you go for something like this and these are a really really good option um i like the fact that the midsole hasn't been really touched that much it's just a classic sort of application of changing the upper and you've got the kind of branding here on the back of hill tab as well which is definitely going to unfortunately add to its resale value or with this rarity but i think everything concerning jound sells out pretty well anyway even when he makes like hoodies and stuff it's a pretty popular um he's a pretty popular person on social everyone's kind of aware of him now at the moment you know i used to read his blog or his uh mood board the best website where this was the end bit of the end credits and the photo was like um this is going to be the best website you've ever read or something like that, right? I used to read it back then when it was on Blogspot, so that was ages ago. Um, and now he's sort of migrated into a, a fully-fledged design studio, consultancy, and all that sort of good stuff. So um, they obviously know what they're doing, but unfortunately with that comes popularity. With popularity comes more eyes. With eyes means more, you know, stuff sells out more. And casual consumers like myself, people that don't necessarily buy bots or, you know, are up to date with everything that's going on you know it's pretty difficult to get stuff but you know the best options you know you enter the raffles you put your name in you put your name in the hat and hope it gets pulled out but god damn it these are beautiful really really well done man suede all over i think apart from the 3m bits everything is either suede or nubuck it looks like right there's not one bit of it that's anything else which is gorgeous to see and then you've got those great laces too so i'm, I'm assuming the laces are kind of off-white sale or bone colorway in there oh, okay the material the other material there is mesh okay it looks like it's all suede but it's not we've got a bit of mesh here on the toe box and we've got a lever on the n logo on the side which is a really good addition actually it makes them pop really well um 
because it must be tempting when you're designing shoes it would in two sort of tonal colorways to switch the logo colorway on one or the other especially if it's a darker base right you'd you'd be tempted to sort of like switch the n um color of the logo on the green pair to maybe a white or a off white sail or the bone color of the laces or maybe something a little bit you know maybe something via navy but to keep it the same it's really that's really shows your confidence in your kind of design principles or the codes that you're kind of enacting on that shoe it does go a long way to show how confident you are in what you're making i would say because i'll be tempted to switch it but i think it was really i think it actually looks better that way it's a little bit more subtle and yeah and for like i said before for sure this you know the fact that they've got jam on the back of the hill is definitely going to add a bit more to the overall price you know it always end up doing that but I'm a big fan of these. I think they look stupendous. I can't wait to uh, find out when they release so that I can catch my L's like a gentleman. <laughs>